introverted spy mouth. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok. Please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Hello, Raindrops. I am in Fluffy Hills, and they've had a little mini update for the 4th of July. You can see they have fireworks in the sky, and they have some flag-type banners and stuff. Super cute. Just a tiny little addition here to the map. Let's see. Uh, what does she say? Okay, I was making sure it wasn't a new quest. But that's kind of cool how you can talk to her to find out stuff. So, you can see it's just adorable because I I love the fireworks in the sky. I love the little balloons. Since my family runs and owns a fireworks company, it's just kind of a cool way for me to also celebrate the 4th of July. Since now, finally, work is over. I don't have to worry about that. Let's go over to the well and see if I can wish for the crown. The Bloom Heart Shard crown because I haven't won that one yet. Oh, nope. Didn't get it this time, but that's okay. But, of course, you can come over here and do the Seashells trivia game. I did buy everything in the store for the summer. Um, I love every single thing in here. It is amazing. So, make sure you get that before the update is over. And then they also did add this amazing Ferris wheel over here. And, look, it just looks so beautiful with the backdrop of the fireworks. And, let's see. Oh, you can actually hop in and sit. Oh, it's actually moving. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's take a ride. I want to see this. It's really cool. I didn't know that it would actually move, but look at this. This is just so magical. I absolutely love it. It is a really fun role-play way to celebrate the 4th of July, the United States Independence Day. This is adorable. I know it's nothing huge, but still. It's just the nice little touch that they try to remember this holiday as well. And I do have some new codes for you. So special 10K is the new code that you can use to redeem. And then there's also, sorry, um, red platform heels. Let's redeem that. And we'll take a look at those in a minute. And then we have another code here. It's summer celebration. So you can see I'm already racking up a ton of rubies, which is super exciting because there are new things in the shop that I definitely want to buy. So right here you can see the ball, ball gown. And let's see, let's go to new items first. And you can see there's lots of cute things here. I don't know why the ball gown isn't listed in this spot, but still we can go back to it. Let's see. Uh... Oh, let's do all items. There it is. Ready for the ball gown. And then the ball bodice. And look at the fancy tuxedo top as well. Isn't that so cool? So you have different options. And if you actually go to the more info on the ball bodice and the ball gown, it tells you that the bodice has four transformations and the skirt has five transformations. So I can't wait to see what that is. I just have to grind to get some more rubies. Kicking grind to get more rubies by going to the Paradise Coastal Oasis here. And then you can go into these shops and you can scan the food items to help these customers buy their food. And that gives you rubies. Uh, sometimes, there we go. So it gives you 50 rubies every time you do that. This is a great way to get some. Let's see. Just gotta find the right angle. Let's go behind the counter. I see some. So let's scan. And also, obviously, those codes gave us a lot of rubies as well, which was super exciting because those ball gowns look absolutely amazing. Okay. So this is one way to get the rubies. You go to every single shop. You can see their cookies up here. Sometimes they glitch out a little bit and you can't quite get all of them, but you know you've gotten them all when the person disappears so let's go ahead and do that here and then we're going to try out the mini games to see how those go i actually haven't ever tried that out because i've just kind of been doing the seashells mini game so i could buy all the summer items and wishing at the well so now that i have all of those i definitely want to start farming the rubies so let's just do this last one here and then we're going to attempt a mini game and see how that goes. Here you go. Have a cookie. Oh, she's still here. I must have missed. Oh, yeah. See, I missed a donut. There you go. Okay, so now let's check out the mini games here. 
We have, oh, you can see what you get right here. Cloud jumping. Oh, gosh, jumping is not good for me. But this is in a round with friends or others. Complete the jumps in 60 seconds to earn the grand prize. Then we have find the gold. Once you find the gold, get a bonus of 1,000 and wait for the others when the round completes. And then hide and seek. Get two players and be teleported to various mini-maps using your fluffy verse tower. Bonuses are up to 2,000. So let's try the cloud jumping. Even Let's see. So it looks like once it starts, we'll be jumping up here to get to the big cloud. So we'll see how that goes. Jumping is definitely not the easiest thing for me, but we are going to give it a try. I think um, after this, it sends us to the intermission, and then we will start. I think it's probably best to leave it on the walking since these clouds, oh gosh, these clouds are not that far apart. So I don't think you need to sprint. I mean, that's totally up to you. I'm just trying to be careful because I really don't want to fall. Yes, there we go. Um, so hopefully that'll help me earn a little bit more rubies so I can buy the stuff in the store. This beautiful ball gown. I can't wait to see it. So let's try out another mini game. Let's do find the gold and see how this one is. We'll come back to cloud jumping after she's not there because obviously she's faster than me. Okay. So... Intermission. I might be the only one in this game, so I don't know if I'll be able to play. We'll have to see. Find a piece of gold to win. Okay, so I can do this by myself, it looks like. Um, let's see. This is definitely not gold. Oh, it is gold. Okay. Yay! <laughs> so what does this one give you? So it should be getting 1,000. Let's see. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, so it is 1,000. Okay, so now let's try a different mini game. Let's try the hide and seek. Um, so this one should have 2,000. Obviously, you can have bonuses if you have the game pass. Hide and seek mini game. Not sure how to work with a one person. So I might, that might be what this screen is that I have to wait for another person to join. Um, let's see. Looks like it. I don't think it'll start with it being just me. Okay, no, it definitely won't start with just me, but that's okay. But that's definitely something you want to do with a friend. It looks like the other two you can definitely do by yourself. Um, so that's really exciting. That's a good way to earn some rubies. It is super fast. I do think that finding the gold is probably the easiest because you don't have to jump and literally the gold is just right here. And then I know you do have to wait for the round. That's just to keep you from farming too fast. But that definitely is easiest to me. Um, the cloud one does give you 200 more. But I feel like, you know, the jumping and stuff is just not quite as easy. And I don't know that it's really worth it. The hide and seek will give you more. But again, you have to have two people for that. So I think these are the easiest ways to farm the rubies. I can't wait to see what's coming up next for their updates. I will let you know any other sneak peeks that they may have. I know that they did have this one here, which is a set which looks super cute. And then this picture here that just says, who is she? So we'll hopefully find out more about that soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel. It really does help us with getting monetized and also earning some money by making these videos so that we can make more of them for you. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, Raydrops.